Good afternoon, everyone. It is the 12th day of Vita. My name is Artemidge, and welcome back. Surprisingly, I got quite the bump back up in my views on yesterday's video, so you guys clearly like some of what I'm doing. I understand that when I'm just kind of prattling on about my life, it's extremely boring, and I need to do better at coming up with topics if I'm going to maintain this long term, but it's hard producing consistent content every day. That's the thing, which is probably the worst way I could have started off trying to regularly do upkeep on my channel, but I think it's going to put me in a better headspace to understand just what kind of capabilities I can do to do quality work. So hopefully you'll take the good with the bad and just work with me along here. If you have suggestions or anything, I absolutely would love to hear them. Let me know what you're enjoying hearing about and what you're not. Anyways, on to my topic at hand today. Last night, I got out to Black Knight Games, as I mentioned, to play some Infinity. And it wound up being a case of the three of us who were there for that did have quite the common ground on something particular, and that is in painting models. Now, let me pull up something here. This one was not painted by me and has fallen apart. All the pieces are nearby. I don't know how well it's going to focus. I think that's the best focus I'm going to get. That's a pretty well detailed model. He's painted up really nicely. Keeping in line with that, we have this. Stop focusing on me, focus on this. I, I hope you guys can make that out okay. And then we have the work that you may have seen from my Instagram and Twitter during the recent Journeyman League. And maybe you've also seen anyone who follows me on Facebook well, his friends with me on Facebook, will have seen the work that I had commissioned for the Operation Red Veil box set, which reached what the artist and I both referred to as a good enough status. And really, the three of us, as I said, had this consensus on we don't like painting the models. We like having painted models. We don't like the actual process of painting them. And it's just because it is such a chore and we're in it for the game. But we absolutely want things to look nice. We want our models to be easily distinguished. We don't want our opponents looking at this. Black Primer. Or even worse, this. Bare Metal. Or plastic as the case may be. Because it's not appealing. It, it, it's Everything does blend together. You don't know what you're really distinguishing from each other. So that came down to a general idea of being okay with your mediocrity. And this is one I've painted. It's got some detail in there, but it's not overly drawn out or anything. I mean, there's no shading in the ribcage here. The skulls have minimal shading. There's no detail highlighting or shading on the tombstone there. But I'm okay with it, because you look at that, you can distinctly tell it's a tree of death. People have been left there to die, and skulls and such have accumulated. You know functionally in the game what it is when somebody tells you to have a constant referral point. And I ever going to improve on that? Probably. Am I necessarily directly striving to? No. I just want it to be a case of I'm happy enough putting those on the table. Maybe to you, the models are the point of the game. You want them to look extra pretty. You want to compete with Angel Herodes, who we'll put a link to his stuff down below. Because there is the ability to do some amazing things out there when it comes to these models. And even other forms of artwork, obviously. But when you're doing it for one reason, and it involves facilitating a skill in another area, sometimes you just gotta get to a point where you can say, you know what, I'm okay with this. And that's important not only with something like this, but in anywhere that may not be your strong point. Find yourself being comfortable with a level that makes you just feel okay. And that should help you get through a little more. Anyways, that's all I've got to say for today, and I will see everyone tomorrow.